Hello oh guys, today I wanted to talk about an issue I was having with one of my trailers. Um, basically, the trailer uh, tandem weren't sliding. Uh, you will pull the pin and uh, the pins go in, um, but the trailer keeps on walking. Um, it's not, and the air ride doesn't stop moving, it just moves along with the tractor. So this is the solution I found to that problem and I'm gonna go through the checklist what you need to look at and you could be having a similar issue uh, to me, uh, what I was having. So hopefully this information helps you. So this is the checklist you wanna go through. So if you pull the lever and these uh, pins go in, all four pins are retracted and and the trailer keeps on walking when you try to move the tandems you want to look at your airbags if they're inflated all the way that means um your valve one of the valves is not dumping the air if the pins go in that mean this one is working fine and if you got uh, i think they and they call a shore lock uh, these legs basically uh, they're designed to hold the weight of the trailer when um, the air airbag deflates. Usually when you pull the pin, the uh, valve in there will pull, uh, take uh, release the air out of the airbags and these legs will touch here. That will be their uh, normal resting place. If these are still up like this, um, and the airbags are inflated. I just found this picture. These airbags are too high. It, they shouldn't be like this, but they're still inflated and they should still have some air, but these legs should touch here. If they don't touch, uh, if you don't have the trailer that has those legs, then your airbags should deflate. If they don't deflate, um, then, um, you most likely have a sticky valve situation or your valve has failed. Um, with this, uh, symptoms will be like, um, when you're empty, you can slide the tandems uh, for a while, but when you load it, the trailer will walk. Or uh, after the valve completely fails, then the tandem won't slide at all. It will just keeps on walking. If this happens to you, there is another video I uh, posted previously. You can check that out and it can help you in a pinch. Oh. Um, I'll try to find the video and at the end, I'll uh, put a link in the description. Um, that's for just emergency purposes. When you can't repair it and you need to move the tandem a ASAP and that will help you. So your trailer has two valves. This is the parking valve and it, one it has a service valve. So um, if your um, service brakes are working fine, then most likely you have a problem in your parking brake valve. And um, it could be difficult to find or tell uh, which one is a parking and which one is a service one. The best way to find out which one is a parking and service, look at your brake chamber. On the brake chamber, this uh, this one says right here, service brake, and right here it says parking brake. So you, uh, there's a hose connected to it, and you wanna follow the hose and see where this that hose connects to. And um, your uh, parking valve should look like, uh, looks like this, but it could be different. Um, because of the different models and variations of air rides. Um, so that's the best way to find which valve is your parking valve. Um, you could try to adjust the brake chambers. Um, I tried that multiple times. And uh, and if you do it too often on the on brake chambers on a newer trailer, those are auto adjusting and it could damage the internal mechanism of the brake chamber. Oh, sorry, the slack adjusters. Of the yep, because a slack a, a new slack adjusters are auto adjusting, so you don't want to do it too much, otherwise you will damage the internal mechanism. So um, 
You can replace this valve. The, mine was a eighty-five dollars. I end up getting an aftermarket one because that store was nearby. So for eighty-five bucks, I replaced it, and it works fine now. When the trailer is loaded, it slides the tandem. When it's unloaded, it still slides the tandem. So if you're gonna do this by yourself, make sure you take a lot of pictures and label the hoses so um, you don't confuse them later and make the situation even worse compared to when it was before. So hopefully this information helps you guys and please like, share, subscribe if you like the content I post and you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.